So I've checked out quite a number of speakers on my channel and Small's tiny speakers are one genre that I quite enjoy reviewing because it's challenging but at the same time exciting to see if the speakers that I unbox will have good sounding audio. Today's speaker is sent over to me by Transmart for review and although these were sent over to me, no money has exchanged hands and this review is solely based on my honest and unbiased opinion. The tiny brother of the T7 retails for about 29 US dollar or about 129 Malaysia ringgit. Very budget friendly for a pretty loud speaker so it definitely will suit your needs if you want to bring this hiking or bike riding. So if you're interested in getting this speaker, please check out my links in the description below. So if you don't already know, this is the bigger T7 of the Transmart range and this is the T7 Mini. So you have two options here for their LED range of speakers. You can either get the bigger brother which sounds a lot better uh, or the smaller Mini uh, which sounds mediocre but still pretty loud. Or you can also check out my review on the T7 and you can see which of this will suit you better. So the design of this speaker is quite generic to many portable Bluetooth speakers. I'm sure you've seen this rounded design before. Uh, similar to what JBL, Sony or Logitech has been doing for a while. And at the front of the speaker, you're going to get this Transmart branding there in a nice rubberized font. Uh, and it would be nice if the Groove 2 would also have a similar set like this. The speaker is also wrapped in a mesh all around speaker, uh, which gives it a very high quality premium feeling. Similar to the style of an Apple HomePod, just that that's a bit rounder. However, this speaker does not have 360 sound set up like the T7, but only a front-facing dynamic driver, just right in front here, pumping out about 15 watts of power. The overall speaker looks really basic and simple, and at the top, you're gonna see an iconic light ring that pulses with the music, which is really nice, and you're also gonna get a whole bunch of controls at the top. At the back of the speaker, you're going to get a built-in short lanyard, so this is not removable and if you fray it or break it, you cannot replace this. However, there is no carabiner provided in the box, unlike the Transmart Groove 2. So at the bottom of the speaker, you're going to get a waterproof flap for all your connectivity and at the bottom of the speaker, it's made of this rubberized texture that helps your speaker grip onto your desk. So controls on the T7 Mini is really simple and like most portable speakers, you get quite a complete set of controls here. The power button, if pressed once, swaps the audio between Bluetooth micro SD card and also 3.5 millimeter auxiliary port and if you double press it you can enter or exit stereo pairing so you can pair two of these devices together as for the play button press once to play or pause your media or double tap to activate your assistant and the button that looks like a Sun right over here uh, turns on or off the LED so you can just press it and it will just swap the LED or turn it off. And the volume button here, uh, of course, it's your volume button and also acts as track skipping when you double press it. So moving down to the waterproof flap here, you can open it and you can see it's quite a thick waterproof ceiling here to protect the speaker. And inside here, although it's very hard to see, you're going to get a Type-C charging port, a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack, as well as a micro SD card at the top. So those are some of the connectivity as well as ports. So the battery life of the T7 Mini is actually really impressive for something so small coming in with 18 hours of battery life with the LEDs turned off. With the LEDs turned on, the battery does drop to about 5 hours only. So these speakers from Transmart is clearly to be used without the LEDs if you want a battery longevity. But having the LEDs is a welcoming feature in my opinion because it looks really nice. Charging the speaker up takes about 3 hours which is frankly a little bit too long. So for me, a comfortable listening volume for me starts around 30% which is sufficient for as a personal speaker uh, where it's sitting on top of your desk. Around 50% is pretty decent, but to fill a large living room, you should go about to about 65%. Uh, which is pretty loud and you can hear your music clearly with no problem. Around 80% is loud but you can hear the system hitting the maximum volume level and I generally won't play music at this level unless I'm having like an outdoor party. So for a tiny speaker, it's actually impressive and definitely consider this if you need the power in a tiny package. Features on the T7 Mini is also really basic, coming in with a Bluetooth 5.3 chipset that supports the SBC codec only. Sound quality of it is decent but nothing fantastic, but I guess Transmart knows that that will keep cost low, so SBC it is. Also, this is the same chipset that is used across the T7 Mini, the T7 as well as the Groove 2. The T7 Mini also comes with the same IPX7 water resistant rating, so you can pretty much use this anywhere and even if it's raining heavily out and you have this hanging on your back, you don't really have to worry about it dying, so it, it should survive with no issue. Like its bigger brother, the T7 Mini also doesn't come with the TuneCon technology but allows you to daisy chain two speakers together for added enjoyment so you can use them as stereo speakers. 
Sound quality with the T7 Mini is good, actually sounds a lot more dynamic compared to the Groove 2. It doesn't get that flat, messy high, so the overall package now sounds like a more balanced speaker. Bass here isn't all that powerful, but understandable from a speaker of this size. But with certain songs, you can hear that there is like some very minor rattling sound, that, but it doesn't really happen all the time. Vocals here is decent with no hint that the sound is recessed, so you'll still get that clear mid-range through all the instruments going on. Highs here is not messy, but also not clean, so you do get that card board feeling that they don't really sound very clear. Some tuning would be definitely nice but unfortunately there is no app support for the T7 Mini, uh, only the T7. It would be nice if Transmart would be like QCY and gives its entire range of products app support. That would be really cool. So pretty basic sound quality and they don't sound too bad actually. So this is a test to see if the Tronsmart T7 Mini is a good speaker for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear a difference. So now there is a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from this speaker. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So latency is also very well controlled here, especially with games like PUBG, you're going to detect a very tiny lag in real time, but nothing too bad that it will give you any disadvantage. Watching videos and movies on this is really nice and lag free. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of this speaker. So the price of the T7 Mini on the left is very similar to the Groove 2 on the right and depending on your taste, if you like the more rugged design, the Groove 2 is definitely a more sturdy piece but performance wise, I don't see them as too much advantage between one another so they're pretty much the same. So that is it for this review, if you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.